Good morning, everyone. Today is Wednesday, July 31st, and today we will cover the trades for Yield Max Funds, Tesla, Kony, NVIDIA, and Misty. And just so you guys know in advance, um, there were no trades for any of the four. So obviously, we will just cover, you know, where they stand heading into the week. Because now we have, um, you know, three trading days, essentially. But first, I just want to show you guys, I did sell a put. I was able to get some time. As you know, I'm traveling for work. Um, so I sold a $10 put on TSLL. I've received $0.04 cents per share. Uh, so that's for one contract. So one contract is 100 shares. So I received $40 for that transaction. So not bad. So now for TSLL, uh, I have an ongoing put party. This put party consists of a $9 and $10 put that expires this Friday. And then I also have a $9 and $10 put that expires next Friday. My current average or cost basis is in blue, $11. The current price of TSLL is $10.81. So not a bad spot to be in. Uh, obviously, I have also a pending put on TNA which, you know, I'll update that sheet and I'm not going to have much of a put party because they're more expensive. So anyway, let's get to the spreadsheets. All right, so first we'll look at TSLY. So they have two synthetics, a 260 and a 265, both of which continue to be, you know, very far away from in a profitable position. However, they do expire in 17 days, so hopefully by then we can safely recover. Now, as far as yesterday is concerned, how did Tesla do? Tesla went down by 4.08%. Tesla went down 2.8%. So, yeah, it's uh, another down day. If I sound weird, by the way, I'm not in the garage. I'm in an air-conditioning hotel room. But I'm not sure how loud I am and how thin the walls are. So I'll try to be within reason here. All right. So here's where we stand. Um, we have a whole bunch of strikes. We got a 230. We got a 235 and a 237.50. So the lowest of the strikes is 230. Um, that's 3.32% out of the money. However, the largest position, 31,735 contracts, that's a 235 strike. And that's 5.56% out of the money. So with three trading days, is that safe? Of course not. I mean, we don't know. Uh, anything can happen. But so far, so good. Now, looking at the outstanding shares, there was no movement, no change. So no, no interest in poor little TSLY yesterday. 30-day IV, 49%. Outstanding shares, 50,250,000. Net income from the weeklies uh, is non-existent. They're still sitting at a loss of 22 mil. We will go to the reaction. And the reaction is, you know, kind of like a relaxed, you know, mode because, you know, obviously they were slightly in danger from the day before. If you look, they went up 5.6%. The next day they went down 4.08%. So this is how kind of, you know, Tesla goes. You have crazy days up and down, up and down. But... Again, that creates you know, some volatility, and without volatility, creates some higher premiums. So this is why we love Tesla at the same time. By the way, declaration date is right around the corner, six days away. Oh, boy. All right, payment information. Let me get a sip of coffee. Worst coffee I've ever had, by the way. Um, synthetic income, 125 mil. If we take out the short call loss... 22 mil we have a net income of 103 million okay this is how much they made i'm showing how much they made on a taxable basis <clears throat> uh for the month so that comes to two dollars and five cents uh for tsly so you know they could pay anywhere from a dollar to two dollars for this month essentially last month they paid a dollar so i would expect it would be a little in line with that maybe a little higher dollar 25 who the heck knows uh you guys be the judge but i'll throw out my estimate over this weekend all right, as far as the holdings tab is concerned, nothing to really speak of. We talked about the synthetic and we talked about the weeklies, uh, but we'll see how it plays out. You can see, you know, two of these cost under a dollar per share to close, but again, it's not cheap enough quite yet 
to close out early, but we'll see how it plays out. Net asset value of Tesla is $770 million. The NAV is 1533 and the trade price is 1530. Let's move on to NVDY, aka the GOAT. They have two synthetics as well. They got a 127, which by the way, they're 18% away from that strike price. Pretty far. Uh, but that's 17 days away, so we'll see how that plays out. It's not looking good at the moment. They also have a 115, but this is this expires in 52 days on 920. And they're 9.8% away from that. Obviously, it uh, looks like NVIDIA took a dive as well yesterday. And if you look, yes, it did. So NVIDIA went down 7.04%. Um, and NVIDIA went down 6.87%. So obviously, uh, it took it took the pretty much most of the dive with it. That means their calls are way out of the money, probably. Yep. So if we zoom in in a little let's or is that zoom out a little let's see where we can where we stand again no trades for any of these four so we'll just look at the largest holding right the largest and the lowest strike so first the largest holding 79,190 contracts you know by far the largest holding 122 strike that's 17.61 percent out of the money okay three trading days i'm gonna go out on a limb and say that's uh Looks pretty good. Now, the lowest of the strikes, this is a recent one. This is um, 118 strike. Only 1150 contracts, but 13.76% out of the money. Even that one's probably safe. But we'll see how the week goes, like I said. Um, outstanding shares did go up on this one, on NVIDIA. 125,000 increase. So the recap is they have a 30-day IV of 70%. Outstanding shares, 36.6 mil. That creates a net income of 39.6 mil. That's almost, I felt like I repeated myself. Uh, distribution of $1.08, daily income of $0.04 cents a day, daily yield 0.16%. And more importantly, if we annual, annualize that, we're looking at 59%. Not bad. Reaction is, you know, they're rolling their, why are they rolling their eyes, right? Well, they're rolling their eyes because, all right, we're way out of the money, right? So let's enough's enough already. Enough with the dip. I know we're, he's like, I'm gonna win the the weekly calls, but let's get back to normalcy here. All right. So synthetic loss forty one mil, short call income thirty nine mil. So we will eliminate the synthetic um, loss for calculation purposes, and we will look at how much the weeklies produce per share, and that's a dollar eight. So if we take that dollar eight and we multiply, but days left, how much we think that they're going to make per day, that comes to about a dollar thirty-one. Not much, but a sixty-six percent yield nonetheless. So that's pretty damn good. Um, but comparably to the prior month, two forty-seven, obviously kind of a letdown. But again, I'll make the official prediction this weekend. <laughs> Okay, outstanding holdings. Again, nothing to talk about. We, we said they have two synthetics. And yeah, look how cheap it is to close these. Like it's almost worth it to pay the money to close out the weeklies, right? Should they though? I don't know. Um, like today could be green and they might not get the chance. But if today is another red day, these will get cheaper and cheaper to close out. Net asset value went down, man. Oof, went down to 867 mil the nav is 2369 and the trade price is 2372 so that's nvidia on to our friend coney so coney has a 250 synthetic um also expires 816 17 days away and also not close to the strike it's 10 percent away so however they have something that others don't they have earnings in between they have earnings right now especially right today's wednesday it's going to happen thursday after hours so that could make coin jump uh, but we don't know we'll see all right how did coin do yesterday though coin did horrible yesterday coin went down 4.16 percent coney almost went down all the way with it 3.71 percent so if you typically see that that means the calls um or more than likely way out of the money um if they were tighter they would it wouldn't go down as much so if we zoom out here we could see the calls yep way out of the money so 
if we look at the contracts, how many strikes do we have? Do we have, we have three strikes, 260, 270, 270, 250. The largest positions are the 270 and the 270, 250. This is about 30,800 of the contracts, both of which are over 20% out of the money. So I think they are officially ready for earnings. They are ready for good earnings. If they have bad earnings, that would suck because they have this gigantic cushion waiting for a massive jump, but we'll see. All right, so outstanding shares, nothing. No no interest here. 30-day IV, we got 75%. Outstanding shares, 39,550,000. However, uh, weekly income, non-existent. They're sitting at a loss of 32.6 million. Been a rough month as far as, you know, the weekly calls are concerned for Coney. Their reaction is they are hungry for good earnings. So they're getting a little thirsty there. They see they're, they almost got the money tongue going. Um, but hopefully that could turn into a money tongue by tomorrow. Uh, we'll see. They got room. All right. So payment detail. I wish I had better news, but, you know, we know how it is for this month. Uh, synthetic loss. I'm, I'm sorry. Synthetic income, 20.8 mil. Short call loss, um, 32 mil. So that it's a net loss of 11.8 mil. So yeah, they're not really producing any taxable income for this month. However, if we look at last month's distribution, is about $1.57. So we'll see. I mean, it's going to be around a dollar something realistically. Uh, but we'll just we'll see what they decide to do. All right. Um, as far as the holdings, again, nothing to really speak of. Obviously, we see this put here. It's over 100 mil to close. Uh, so we kind of need, we do need coin to go up for more than one reason, for the synthetic, for the weekly. You know, we got the room. Let's do this. Let's have good earnings, all right? Uh, the net asset value is 727 mil. The NAV is 1840. Trade price, 1843. Very low for, uh, for Coney to be in this range. People would, you know, would have died to get this price, you know, months ago. Now, here we are, but are they actually buying or are they so worried of this that they're not getting, you know, getting a piece? Um, I, I, I forget, I did jump in, I bought 10 shares. If this is below my cost basis, I'll buy another 10 um, and see how it goes from there. But I haven't been so freaking busy. All right, so let's look at Misty and see what they're doing, right? Misty Fund Manager was happy. You know, he got the full apology from the... Um, from the community so he's a happy man all right synthetic what are we looking at still making money 3.49 percent above their uh synthetic strike which it's okay all right it expires in 17 days uh they got the forward split that's happening tomorrow um at the open uh, at least from what i remember and then they got earnings right earnings next week so it's pretty busy uh two weeks coming up all right, so as far as MSTR goes, how are they doing? Well, they freaking went down again, right? We had this big jump, and we're like, we're losing all of it, right? We were pissed off. Oh, my God, the calls are blown through. Then we had yesterday, we're like, okay, he's kind of safe. And, I, and look at this. MSTR went down 4.79%. MSTY went down 3.37%. So pretty drastic, pretty rough red week. It's a good day for me to not look at the market uh, Yes yesterday so as far as the calls are concerned now i mean what a big change so again they have two strikes 1775 and 1800 the only one worth noting is the largest position of the two 2535 contracts 1775 strike that's 10.66 percent out of the money right now all right so with three trading days is it safe maybe you can never be 100% certain. If it was 20% out of the money, I'd probably say yes. But 10%, I would not say definitely. Outstanding shares for MSTY, no movement, no increase. So, All right, so recap is 30-day IV, 87%. Outstanding shares sits at 14875000 But they're still you know, at a loss on the weeklies. They lost 11 mil, so... It's been a rough month, you know, just like Coney. Uh, reaction is they're just laughing, kind of, or crying. I can't tell. Uh, but they're, uh, what a comeback. You know, what a comeback from the disaster that could have been. All right, so synthetic income, 5.1 mil. 
short call loss 11 mil so they have a net loss for the month of 5.8 million so again we can't talk about a distribution we don't have an estimate we can only look at the prior month as of this moment 233 what are they going to yield probably you know they're probably going to pay much less than that but again we'll see uh it'll be you know close to what their iv is they typically strive to you know make enough money to yield what their implied volatility is so if they have a rough month will they shoot for that same yield we don't know that's up to them right that's their decision but we can guess all right so as far as holdings are concerned um again we see the orange is greater than the pink that means their synthetic is still doing well and then obviously they have the blue weeklies uh too early to close we're not going to close them now uh, obviously last week we were in a position like on the thursday we were like oh damn you should have closed them and they didn't and we got screwed so now we have we, we should keep an eye on that um to see how low it does go and is it worth it to close the position net asset value of misty is 434 mil uh nav is 2918 trade price 29.23 so back under 30 we go is this a discount for misty I don't think so. Um, maybe 25. I don't even know. But Miss, Misty, man, they've been holding up. They've been staying flying high. Got to love it. All right. So let's go to the pre-market. Let's see what time it is. It is. Um, where's the time? Oh, 5.55 a.m. So as of 5.55 a.m., Tesla is up 1.18%. Tesla is up 1.44%. So looking green so far. NVIDIA is up 5, oh my God, 5.04%. NVIDIA is up 4.68%. Coin is up 2.2%. Interesting. Coney is up 2.22%. MSTR is up 1.62%. And MSTY is up 2.09%. Not bad. Green, green, green everywhere. TSLL is up 2.39%. TNA is up 2.62%. My puts are looking good. I might, I, might, uh, I might not be able to sell a put today, though. AMDY, oh my God. AMDY is up 7.87%. That's a pretty damn good jump. AMZY is up 0.24%. BTC, Bitcoin, is up 0.58%. Everything is freaking green today. Again, it's early. It's not even 6 o'clock, but still, anything could change. Um, we'll see what happens. Uh, but yeah, so that's the update. Again, I apologize if I sound funky, if I sound a little quiet, because I am in a hotel room with probably thin walls, and I don't want, you know, my voice to drag across to the next room, but, you know, we'll see. Um, but I wanted to get this video out to you guys. Uh, obviously, there's no trade, so I was kind of happy about that, to be honest. Um, but yeah, but still... Just basically an update on the strikes nonetheless. As always, this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. This video is for fun and entertainment. So hopefully you had fun. Hopefully you're entertained. If not, we will try again tomorrow. Um, so yeah, as far as content, if you enjoyed this content, please remember to always hit the like button. It does go a long way. Um, it helps out through the algorithm, so I'm told. And if you have any questions or concerns, leave them down in the comments below. What do you think about coin earnings coming up tomorrow? Are you worried? Um, what do you think about Misty? Are you like, this is a damn roller coaster, right? Um, but again, it's that's what it happens, man. It's up and down all around. We just hope the timing of our moves work out. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But it is what it is. Um, do you guys enjoy when I show my options trades? Again, I don't know when else to show them. I do show them in the Discord. By the way, I do have a Discord. Yes, it's free. The link is in my uh, YouTube profile, YouTube links, wherever. Um, it should be updated, uh, but if not, of course, just please let me know. But yes, I trade. I sh try to share all my trades there as well. Um, otherwise, you know, everything is done on the Saturday, and it might be too late then. Um, so I, I don't know how to quite squeeze them in. So, but hopefully, you know, it's good in the beginning of the video. If not, just let me know. All right, guys. Um, I got to get my ass to the gym, the hotel gym. So key word today. Um, I don't even know, man. I guess, uh, what do we got? Um, keyword, keyword. What do we, what do we want? What do we got? What do we want? Hmm. 
How about hotel, motel, holiday inn? <laughs> sorry, sorry for that singing, awful singing, but that's all I got for today. So if you made it this far in the video and you want to prove it, then all you have to do is type hotel, motel, holiday inn. All right. Does that sound good? And no, I'm not. A I'm not at a holiday inn, but um, that's all I got. All right. And um, yeah, again, busy day. I'm not going to be as active as I usually am, but I figured I'd get this video out. Still got up early um, as usual. And um, again, yeah, thank you for watching and have a great day. Later.